Hey everyone and welcome to the Lance Life Answers channel and in today's video the question is how can I grow facial hair? Well it's not even a question, it's a how to because this is something I've actually done. <laughs> how to grow facial hair in eight weeks. So I'm going to start by saying that this is still a work in progress, progress, progress and as you can tell, I, ha I still don't have the best beard or the best designer stubble yet. But it's something that I thought I'd talk about because I've started doing the regime again. Because I've only actually done it once. Because when I did it once, I was actually quite satisfied with the results. Recently, I have reshaven these side bits. That's why they're not looking as thick. But the this is the problem area right here. These, these side bits here. So like the neck's fine, it's quite thick and the sideburns aren't too bad. My right's actually better than my left and I'm sure other people perhaps have the same problem where one side is better than the other. But anyway, today's video, how to grow facial hair in eight weeks. So I've got five pictures that I'm going to put on this video and I'm going to pop up the before picture now. So this is the before picture. It's not the best before picture. I should have gone to the side, but I actually, I think I was quite depressed with my facial hair, so I was just like... <laughs> for some reason, I was watching the television one day, and I saw an advert for Dr. Wolf's... How would you pronounce it? Alpacen, Alpacen, caffeine shampoo. And this is for hair loss, so it's supposed to stimulate hair growth on your head. And I thought to myself, why can't I use that for my beard and facial hair? So <laughs> I, I looked online to see if anyone else had done it and for some reason nobody else has done it. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. So with the Alpacen shampoo, what I do is I would first of all just get some warm water and then put that all on my face, get a little bit of the Alpacen shampoo and then rub that in my hands and then rub that and really like work it into like the problem areas and try and work it into my pores and I do this every two days and it actually recommends when you use it for your hair that you actually leave it on for at least two minutes and I think there was times where I did leave it on for two minutes only because I was rushing and I wanted to have a shower but there was times where I left it on for like ten minutes so Anyway, I was doing this over a period of eight weeks, so I was rubbing that in. I was also letting my beard grow, so I wasn't trimming it whatsoever. And I'll throw up a picture now of what I look like after eight weeks of growing my beard and using the Alpacen shampoo. And it looks terrible. I look like some kind of terrorist hobo. <laughs> but anyway. It's a funny picture and I look terrible and, and this is probably why I haven't done it since because I know that in order to get like the, the thicker growth on the sides again I'm going to have to kind of go through this same process so <sighs> However, once I trimmed back that beard and I'll throw up a side picture now you'll actually notice that from the side profile the hairs here were, were a lot more thicker like noticeably thicker like after after I've done it and I was like wow <laughs> I'm actually onto something here this is this this actually works and I've told a few of my friends about it as well and they've also had good good responses and good results from it so it does definitely work I just think it's one of those things where a you need to give it probably at least six to eight weeks and b be prepared that you might not look like Wolverine when you do it you might look terrible like I did and it's one of the things where I was kind of like, oh, well, I can just trim this bit, I can trim the moustache. No, forget that. I just let the whole thing grow and it was like, my girlfriend Amy was like, oh, babe, when are you going to cut this? And I was like, listen, there's light at the end of the tunnel. This will look really, really good. So, but anyway, it's still a work in progress. And if, if you look now, I'll put the, the after pictures of what, of what my side profile looks like when I, when I let all of it grow along with my sideburns and my neck. And it looks pretty good, and, and I think that's why I haven't done it since. It's, it's, quite, it's quite shaped, like, 
it's just, it's nice. It's not, the only thing where I'm missing now is I'm, I'm missing the connections from the moustache to like where that, where that beard ends and I perhaps wouldn't mind a little bit more like around here. So when I do it again is I'm going to really focus on here, I'm going to focus on here and really rub that Alpacin shampoo into those problem areas. And since, since actually doing that, they've actually brought out a double strength one of these. So if all else fails and this does not work, then I'm going to try and I suggest you try. There's, there's a double strength Alpacin caffeine shampoo, which might work miracles. It might be like proper, it might be amazing. So I'm looking forward to trying that hopefully one day if, if this technique doesn't work. But I don't think it's, I think it's a bit pointless going straight to like the most potent stuff if, if, this, if this works first because I think anything's going to take a bit of time so this is also a bit cheaper than the other one I think this one in dollars you're probably looking at about 10 to 12 dollars and the other one is probably more like 15 to 20 dollars so yeah awesome try it you will not regret it I guarantee six to eight weeks growing your beard using this once every two days or even every day if you want to and yeah try it and i think you'll be pleasantly surprised but actually when you come when you do come to the end of the eight weeks and you, and you have that trim i think you'll notice a substantial difference in your facial hair especially on the problem areas and i just recommend that you really when you are like applying this on your face make sure you really really rub it in and try and give it at least two minutes to, to settle into your skin if you do get a tight feeling like after like as though you've had like <laughs> some kind of cosmetic surgery on your face like a, a facelift or something that's normal i think that's just that's just what it's supposed to do so it does tighten up your skin but also stimulating the the pores to give you your hair so yeah thanks for watching the lance's life answers youtube channel please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you all next time